There have been few hotly anticipated events like Formula One's return this week to the Netherlands. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our official home on unbeaten.com. We saw it in Germany, those frenzied scenes when Michael Schumacher reigned with Benetton and Ferrari, and in Spain with Fernando Alonso at Renault and Ferrari. And now it's Max Verstappen's turn to be worshipped on home soil at the Dutch Grand Prix, which makes its return this week for the first time since 1985. There can be no doubt that razor-sharp racer Verstappen is the man in the Netherlands. His passionate orange army a fixture at European races, such as at July's Austrian Grand Prix, where the crowd went wild in celebration as the Dutchman claimed his third straight win, his fourth in five races. It's that feverish support that has seen the Dutch Grand Prix reprised, a surefire home run for the sport on many levels. And while nearby Amsterdam and even Rotterdam were considered for hosting duties, Zandvoort has been the race's spiritual home since 1952, with all Grands Prix held there. And while the Verstappen name has dominated Dutch motorsport, there have been 15 races from the Netherlands to start a Grand Prix. Including Christian Albers, Verstappen's manager Hoop Rotengarter, Dutch Grand Prix sporting director Jan Lammers, Guido van der Gaard, and Robert Dornbos, who raced for Minardi. Max Verstappen is not just the big star, though, but the only Dutchman to have won a Grand Prix. With his prodigious talent honed and shaped by his father, ex-F1 driver Jos. I think uh, as a father, I think you want to help your son uh, always as good as possible. But I think in, in the years before, I, I tried to, to push him in the right direction, what I have done. The event was actually meant to return last year, but while it didn't due to the outbreak of COVID-19, Red Bull kept the home fires burning, with Verstappen and then teammate Alex Albon taking the team's title-winning RB7s and RB8s on a tour, starting at Rotterdam's docks, one of the world's busiest ports, before heading down narrow country roads past iconic windmills and through flower-filled greenhouses before ending up at Zandvoort. Of course, you know, to have a home Grand Prix and, and yeah, we were all, I think, looking very much forward to, to that, to that to happen. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully later in the year or whenever it's possible to race again, um, yeah, we are all very excited to get it started. The most successful drivers there are world champions, with Jim Clark on four and Sir Jackie Stewart and Nicky Lauda on three. Four others are on two, including Alberto Ascari. Located 40 minutes from Amsterdam, the 4.259 kilometer track features 14 turns, four left and 10 right, and an estimated top speed of over 300 kilometers per hour. Given its tight and twisty nature, it's expected there will be just one DRS activation zone on the main pit straight. Reimagined and reinvigorated, it's time for the Dutch Grand Prix. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.